Hi, I'm John Bose, producer and co-director of Crystal. And I'm Emily Elizabeth. Welcome to Crystal Behind the Scenes. Get out of here. here in North America was one of the worst in the last 50 years. So we began to write a story about how life on Earth would be if we were in an eternal winter. The story would be about a girl who because of the Ice Age has never seen the sun, trees, flowers, or even grass. What we ended up with was so much more beautiful and powerful than a story about an age of ice but a coming-of-age story about a girl named Crystal. Crystal is living in a backward society that has been misinterpreting prophecies for the last thousand years. One of these prophecies says, when the two crystals come together, so shall the sun and the earth. Crystal realizes that the future of the earth rests in her hands, and she sets off on a journey to find not only the crystal, but herself. To get a deeper look into this film, let's join Emily, who is deep in snow, on the set of Crystal. What do you do with two feet of unwanted snow? You make one of these. Standing seven feet tall, we transformed it into snow. How did I carve out this ice cave, you ask? With a kitchen spoon, of course. So what are you doing? I'm carving an ice cave out with a spoon. But how long did it take to carve out? Couple hours. Couple hours. My dad told me to stop playing Minecraft 24-7 and go grab a baseball bat or something. Die, pig, die! There you go. So, I got myself a pickaxe. <laughs> it's really windy, so we're going to do some fully sound now. So we knew sound was essential in telling the story of Crystal, so we chose the Rode family of microphones, including the Rode Video Mic Pro. We live on a very busy road, so traffic noise was a constant problem. Because of all the background noise, we had to virtually rebuild the entire soundtrack. To light the cave, initially we ran the power cords through the cave entrance, but that didn't work out. We fed the power cord right through the cave here. 
And the core comes out in the cave here. Initially, we used incandescent bulbs to light the cave, but it made the cave look yellow. And there's nothing good about yellow snow. So we moved over to natural light LEDs, which dramatically improved the white balance in the cave. We used a soft blue light to illuminate Emily's face. Here we are in the crystal cave. These are all the crystals. The crystals are nothing more than just Christmas lights. See? And they all feed back through this main extension cord. To make the crystal look like a stalactite, we had to stick the end of the flashlight up in the hole. But it's a lot too heavy to hold. So we took this two foot section of PVC pipe and we stuck it in the snow. We put this pipe in the snow and then we put this part in in the PVC pipe. So, I needed to do some chroma key work, but I don't have a green screen. And I heard that the first chroma key screens were blue screens. So, I snagged this bed sheet from my parents' bed. No napping time today, Pop! So, what are we doing? Hmm. We're filming what? Uh, the crystal. The crystal. <laughs> right toe. Okay, so. Uh, let's see what you got. What do you got going in there? Camera. The camera set up. Filming. I'm ready. They're watching us. Big brother's watching us. And. Um, and go ahead. Stuffing your legs. You making my chest fat there? Yeah, I know. You need to gain a little weight. You need to lose some weight, Mr. <laughs> Chubby Man. <laughs> Here we are on the set of Crystal, about to throw myself off of the cliff. I think I might have broke one of my legs. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but the cave is melting. See, Spring. melting, melting, melting! Spring is approaching. It's actually melting into my face. Mine too. Um, So I hope you enjoyed Crystal Behind the Scenes. And we hope you enjoy Crystal the Movie. Please like, 